Well, hello and welcome to Gemanism Total Nerdy Channel. And here we will be looking at a little first impression video of Galactic Junk League, which is a voxel based game of space combat, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, it's really easy and really, you know, it's really easy. Let's be going on. Uh, this is my ugly little vessel here. Um, as you can see, it's really cute. Um, this is this game is basically like Robocraft, but it's in space and it looks a lot cooler. I mean, it looks like space. <laughs> well, anyways, there is a little fun thing here. You can. Uh, you can s select language options and you can check in all the available languages you know uh, to be able to communicate. Well, I bought a ship. Um, no, I bought a ship. Uh, it's not here. But I can't see it because... Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't have all the parts uh, to build it. Well, um, I only played this one time before it was released. It uh, consisted of a very easy to understand tutorialized part, where it's really idiot secure. Uh, idiot, was it? Now I'm just using. Uh, Swedish with English words, it might work. Uh, it's anyways, any idiot would understand <laughs> how to do everything with that tutorial. But anyways... Um, you can press, you know, here for the controls. Uh, you can have a mirror mood and then it's, you know, basically the usual controls. So let's set up a little mirror here and we could tear this thing apart completely. Now what I understand, uh, like like usual voxel games kind of base that one block is one meter. Um, but uh, this is not the case with this game because you can see here's on... Where is it? All. We have the decorative block here. Junk bridge. So this should be a command bridge deck. Um, and here we thus have a huge crystal. So you can understand that the scale of this is pretty big. Um, well. Let's make a little missile vessel here quickly. Uh, you can also you can flip ups. You can flip around this blocks here if you want to. The whole blocks look kind of weird to be honest. Like parts of machine. <laughs> That's what they are, I guess. Uh, later on, you can lock, unlock armor and stuff like that as well. But. Uh, all the whole parts have the same uh, values for my, uh, for for me at least. Okay, so what you need for a ship, you need to have gyro and you need to have uh, thrusters. If you have more gyros your ship will be more uh, easy to turn around. Um, side thruster, okay. Can we use this? Nope. Could probably have thrusters on some hull parts. Uh, I don't want to overload the CPU too much though, then we don't get uh, to have so many props really. Okay, so this is a thin bar but it's just the same 
values as uh, the big stuff anyways. Okay. Side thruster, here we go. This should be a pretty maneuverable thing so far. Um, now we just want engine overload. That's cool. Let's have an engine overload. I never have a, had a engine overload before. As you understand, I'm pretty new using this game. I don't know if you can have two of them. Probably not. We can have one on top here. Enough, not enough AP. Armor points? Or what? Oh well. Uh, phasers are a weapon as well. Rocket Launcher and Gatling Gauss. Everybody says that Gatling Gauss is very good. I don't know, maybe they're tricking me. But it seemed to be working pretty, pretty well when I used it at least, so that's something. Um, what I understand, this is game at this point extremely unbalanced. Um, probably, hopefully, that will be fixed at some point, but well, you know. We'll see. Uh, it's very easy to work with at least, so... Okay, and then we'll have some missile launchers here. And have four missile launchers. Maybe we can have more, I don't know. Probably it could be nice having some more hull at least. Some random cool defensive parts like that, I don't know. Um, well, as you see, it's pretty easy to build with and it's pretty easy to get in with. To get to, uh, get to know, I mean. For some reason, I seem not to be able to... Well, that's interesting. Sometimes things make less sense. Like, I can build it here, but I can't build it like this. Um, oh well, I guess we just skip that. Okay, now we have our new ship ready. Um, then we click play and we click find match for team battle and uh, well it's an estimated time of uh, one minute uh, I will be seeing you when we enter the match all right ten nine eight we're in the lobby and we are going to enter this battle here um, this is a small and poor little vessel. Hopefully <laughs> we won't. No need to self-destruct in this game. Lots of enemies to kill you. And you probably can see why this resembles Robocraft in a way. Um, but anyways, this is space or something. We have short-range missiles that are, they are automatically locking on when we're really close, but... Well... Also, if you press space and alternate, no, shift, no. Uh, not alt, I thought it was control. Yes, control and space. You can dive up and down. So it's not mouse control because you have the mouse control to maneuver your guns. So you can understand why, what one could mean when saying this is a bit like Robocraft. Considering the size of these vessels, I mean, oh my god, how extremely huge, oh no, this area must be. Come on, die, kill assist, great. Uh, at least you respawn uh, after each round, which is pretty nice. 
Anyways, this rock compartment thing here must be really huge. Like, silly huge. Now, I haven't used this jump thing. Let's... Oh, this is the engine boost. That's cool. Ouch. Damage. How long will our engines boost? Well, it's kind of cool. Okay, now it stopped. Pretty long, actually. Okay, this one is lock-on. I guess. The missiles are pretty short range, but... Uh, they're pretty fun to work with as well. Overload. Oh no! Come on, fire! They're kill-stealing. Oh well. Like... This game is pretty fun, actually. I heard it's unbalanced, but uh, it's free to play, you know, so... Um, for being a free to play game, I'd say this is a pretty fun game. Um, I would recommend you to try this out. Just for, you know, because it's fun. It's also refreshing that one block is not one meter, but one block is uh, many meters. Okay, let's use this speed mode here to hunt this one down. Okay, come on. Haha! Overload. Kill assist. Damn kill stealers. Ooh, there we have. Going in for the kill. Oh shit, here's one too. I he looks like got some armor on that one. I don't have any armor. I'm so sad. Oh no. My engines are blown up. No damage. Ouch. You can see lots of the first uh, ship you get going around here. I guess many are pretty newbie at this game. Okay, charge engines and fire. Ha, kill assist, why? And this one, come on. And whoops, that one blew up pretty well. Oh well. This one is fast. Three, two. Okay, never mind. Everyone is kind of flanking everyone, so it's not happening too much. Let's do a nice little dive down here. To get in contact with this vessel. No out of range, come on. Oh yes, we are in range. Come on, come on, fire, die. No, not us, damn it. Whoops, ouch. We died. Well, it was pretty close. So this engine boost is pretty nice, because you don't have to wait so long to get there. Um, and our ship did indeed get very maneuverable. Aha! More kill assists, oh well. My ship is almost a bit too maneuverable. <laughs> Small with many gyros. Oh, here we have one. Whoops. And oh, we got. We're the third best. Cool. Um, yes. 
it's a draw rookie ship okay thanks and you get all cool stuff like that um, here is my previous ship I built uh, with some antennas and very many Gatling guns so let's search for a new game all right and here we are also you can see down in this corner here we have some stats of this ship um, so that's cool you can also see our teammates um, so it's a pretty lift and it's free so I mean why not here we have my new guns I like them much better this is the passive ship you know that's standing in the background and here we have all the information you can uh, you get info about but I do prefer the maps that are more space like it's simply not too believable I mean the sheer size of the space vessels in this area it feels like we're small come on well here we have the next vessel approaching too much out of range damage oh no it did come in here oh, wow everybody's just camping I mean, I'm amazed of how extremely ugly people build their ship. Can't they just try to put in a little bit of an effort? I mean, it's their choice. I just... Uh, I guess I think it's pretty important with having good luck and stuff. Uh, so I care. Oh no, shit, somebody's shooting me. Also, your ship doesn't regenerate. So that's something fun to know. Die! Wait. Oh. Do I have guns? Yes, I have a little bit. No. Oh well. It's a bit easier to use those uh, long range guns. Uh, you know. But well, I guess so far it actually uh, we did actually better with the missiles. It seems that the collision damage is non-existent, which is kind of weird. That's kind of I would have wanted some collision damage, you know, some real collision damage. I mean, spaceships of this size would basically crumble just touching every anything. That's how things work. Oh no. I believe we have a sniper battle here. Oh no, somebody's probably shooting at me. Okay, let's snipe here. Watch. Oh, that was probably a tactical jump. Ouch. And here we have the effects of not having too many. <laughs> not having too many of the gyros. Because we are slow. Oh no, oh no, it's moving. Damage. Ouch. Oh, he's shooting at me. We have the same guns. Okay. Die! Ouch. Oh well. It's a new game, so people are generally not very hardcore. It's not like Counter Strike Source, <laughs> where everybody's a pro. <laughs> At least on Swedish servers, but I don't know. 
Okay. This one is closing in there. We're out of range, but you know. Ooh, but that one is not out of range. Oh shit, that was really close. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, I... This game is so silly because you don't even notice that you die. It's like after a while you notice, but... You can stand that for a few extra seconds and... You know. Did I mention this game isn't done yet? <laughs> it's... Uh, open though for anyone to play so that's nice we are ready no oh here we have one too close die Oh, we got an actual kill. That's kind of cool. That one got fried. Oh no, what is shooting at us? Damn long range things. Ouch. It looks like the battle is ending. Well, we did at least perform mid-range. <laughs> One kill and four death. That's horrible. Five assists, though. Well, and you get some rewards and stuff, and you can upgrade your ships and things like that. So that's basically a little first impression of this game and I hope you enjoyed um, checking this out and you should probably try this out yourself and see what you think about it. Uh, sadly you can't choose maps but the real space maps are much nicer. Anyways, see you around Jim Turtle Nerd Channel, signing out.